3D and the uh, file's been sitting for a while on the desktop, so clearing up. And look at the Great Pyramid and then compare it to Pyramid, uh, the Lahun Pyramid, which is the most southerly pyramid and has a southern entrance as well. It's very interesting and well, the most southerly of the Great or Grand Pyramids. But begin with the Great Pyramid um, and clues to how it was designed and put together. I've done some earlier, I'll put links in. It's a uh, beautiful outer casing, inner casing layer, fitted fairly well, and then as you go further back, uh, basic, typical style rubble infill. But uh, on the northeast corner there, you can see this, uh, there's a notch there. There's a picture of it. This is from the Henri Houdan video, the spiral ramp, internal ramp video, and uh, Bob Breyer goes up there and was interested that no one had actually really investigated it. Uh, it was a curious thing, but there we get an idea of, an, and you can then crawl in. But you can get an, again the idea of the stones. They're not perfectly fitted. Uh, it's rubble infill. Like when it, not rubble in just like dust and sand, but definitely not precise. But the point is, uh, here's another view, and there's a close up of that notch northeasterly corner about uh, two thirds of the way up. I'll link this in the description, great uh, video analyzing Egyptian pyramids in the digital age. I did a lot of uh, photogrammetry, uh, not just of the pyramid, uh, temples in the area as well, but now we see a, a picture of Ez looking at that corner as well. You can see, there's, you can put your hand in, into the gaps and that type of stuff, but then there's a little crawl space on the inside and there's a nice sort of flat platform that they sit on so there seems to be like a nice layer and then this rubble infill uh, there's a once you crawl inside the gap there's a opening cavern cave whatever you want to call it on the inside again you get an idea of the actual fitting of the blocks there hugely impressive i'm not taking away from it but this the impression that a lot of people have is that they're, they're all perfectly fitted all on the inside this is just not the way that they tend to do things now and not the way they uh, did things in the past but um, one of the questions that was interesting, being able to get access to that area and then take those photos, uh, was to look at the style of the block as they arranged on the inside. And up to that point, there was various different theories. So on the left-hand side, you can see one, two, and three. Uh, now, most people would probably go for one, where it's because you see the outside and they're all each course is pretty much level and flat. So they thought, well, that's what it's going to be on the inside. Two, you see a slight uh, variation, and three, another idea of what the internal structure was. But at least from here in the northeast corner, because of course we can't tear apart the pyramid to see how it was built, but this is one of the vantage points we can get into, uh, get a clue what's going on inside. And now, uh, well, based on this evidence, the idea is that this is how the pyramids were built. Or at least the Great Pyramid, and we'll look at it Lahun in a second. But so you basically have well built walls, making like a frame, a spine type of thing, and then you have rubble ill, um, infill on the inside. And that's what seems to be going on here in the Great Pyramid. So that's something what, like the internet. You know, much nicer stonework to build these walls but then you just sort of fill in the rest with junk as it's called again that's like the a term that's often used by um masons and builders so you still build walls like that uh in south american walls nice outer casing stones junk on the inside cathedrals the same beautiful stone f facing on the inside and the outside but then just rough stuff because you're not going to see it. you don't uh, need to make it perfect it's just got to work and so now we come to the Lahun Pyramid of uh, Sinosret the second, and the Giza Pyramids, Red Pyramid, Bent Pyramid, are, they're built all of stone, but most of the other pyramids were built with a lot of mud brick. Now this, this pyramid originally had a limestone outer casing layer, so it was like a normal pyramid. They stripped the casing layer and then the mud bricks, which make up the inside, uh, well, it all started to fall apart. But uh, here's another view, and there's a couple other, just to get an idea of what it is now. So there's the Black Pyramid, as it's called. Apparently there was a cataclysm destroyed it, the same thing. Mud brick, casing stones were removed, fell apart. Now, you can get a better picture, and again, you can get a close idea. Again, mud brick construction. 
but the important part is these protrusions where it's nice limestone. And we also see a couple poking out over here. Same pyramid, and again we see these limestone walls budding out. And uh, you can see even the, the way that the mud brick has been piled up on top above this, let's call it reinforcing for the moment. And I've got a, now this is from a different corner, just get a more a high resolution picture of it. Again, you can see the style that it's, it's been built, so internally it's a little bit different. And that they're arranged on top of this limestone. Uh, in a spine, in a skeleton. So here's another view. Again, you can see them poking out. More poking out. So this is the idea. Uh, again, analysing the Egyptian pyramids in a digital age. I'll put that link in the description. And not how it was built by division of labour and, and those tech, but how it was designed. And so, again, to save a lot of time. Um, then this 20 year time frame thing well once you realise that the Great Pyramid for instance has these rough blocks on the inside well now that's a lot of time saved and uh, yeah and so that this is probably um, based on this evidence at least and what's visible from the northeast corner if it's happening in the northeast corner it's probably going to be happening uh, through the rest of the structure and so yeah you have a uh, spine a framework of stronger um, more time you know more detail more effort put into those walls and then you just fill in the rest with rubble or, or junk now again that's terms used like it's not well in some parts maybe at the top it, it could be handheld just brick sized stones thrown in there but the, the way that the blocks are arranged, well, it doesn't seem to be that it, they're done internally, that they're not all fall over courses, they're all nice, because again, you can see this is all over the joint, doesn't match the outer courses. And then it comes to how will, you know, how are they arranged on the inside. And so anyway, Lahun Pyramid, Great Pyramid, they s seem to have the same uh, basic style of internal structure uh, it's not necessary to do all this into perfect internal fitting and by the evidence that's there but that's just not how it was done either and so without dismantling them so maybe Caffrey's pyramid for instance it was all nice on the inside didn't well, I don't know um, but just thought this would be interesting and so there are hints and clues and places so whether it's this pure stone pyramid, such as on the Giza Plateau, or these other um, large pyramids with mud brick, but with stone outer casing and seemingly uh, stone interior. The Maidun pyramid will be different because there's like basically a big stone tower in the middle. But uh, yeah, so that's what's going on. Links in the description to the analyzing Egyptian pyramids in the digital age and also this particular corner is mentioned in the uh, Houdan documentary on the internal spiral that's where they go into uh, have a look and consider that idea as well I, I don't know on that you know I, I think it's an interesting idea I don't know but at least for the internal structures it seems to be something like this with that SGD have a good one